Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mike from Mobox. In this graphics video tutorial, we're gonna be taking a look at how to use adjustment layers to give a cool magnification effect um, using mag like, like a magnifying glass. So we're just gonna jump right into it. This should be a quick tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and open up After Effects. And uh, so adjustment layers essentially is, is you apply it to the top of other layers and it, and it kind of adds whatever effect you put on the adjustment layer to all the layers beneath it. I'm just gonna create a new tutorial to, or a new composition, T-U-T-O-R-I-L. I believe this is 12 and 10 seconds, 60 frames a second, 1080p, looks fine. I'm just gonna create a new solid. I'm just gonna create the background here and that color looks fine. We're just gonna lock it and we're gonna shy it so that way it's out of our way. Now I'm just gonna create some text here. We're just gonna have a magnifying glass go over um, some, some text. All right, we'll do that, yeah, we'll do it like that. So I'm just gonna center up this um, anchor point. Center it, in the center it in the composition, and I'm just gonna scale it up a tad. So now I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna create a shape. I'm gonna create a circle. Just press Q on the keyboard, or you can hold it down and go down to ellipse. Hold Shift, drag it out. Your object may look different. Yours might look like, like that, um, but that's okay. What we wanna do is we wanna just align this press Y on the keyboard and just drag it in the center, the center point, and then we're just gonna line it right into the center of the object. And we're gonna come here and we're gonna go to fill and we're gonna change this to none because we don't want an interior fill, we want this to be like a magnifying glass. And we're just gonna increase the stroke to something maybe like that. So um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this down here, we're gonna set some position keyframes. So we're gonna say there, let's say um, we wind up here. And we're just going to smooth these out a little bit. So basically, what we're going to have is is this magnifying glass just kind of go across the composition, just like that. And we just might move that a little bit. So basically, what we end up with is something that looks like this. And when, once we get here, we might even want to just make this kind of kind of maybe go off screen or something like that. Now again, your application might be different. Um, you'll just have to kind of see what, what works best for you. So we might even make this start off screen. So kind of go across like that. So we'll do, we'll add some easing in here. You could use, you could use the, the graph editor if you'd like. Um, I just use my tool. So, um, oh, I don't like how that's, that needs to be more like maybe here. There it is. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an adjustment layer, layer new adjustment layer, and we're gonna put it beneath the shape layer, I'm gonna, which I'm gonna rename to magnify mag. I'll just put mag, that's the magnifying glass. So now for this adjustment layer, what I wanna do is I wanna search for two different effects. One is magnify, and I'm, it's a distort one. I'm just gonna apply that to the adjustment layer. And I'm going to basically kind of try to align this up um, by, uh, let's see, adjustment layers, what I want to select. I'm going to put a keyframe for the center point of this magnify effect. I'm going to press U on the keyboard, and there, there I get my magnify keyframes. I'm just going to copy the position keyframes and paste them onto the center keyframe. So basically now what we have is we have the center kind of tracking it like that. Now I'm going to increase the magnification um, size. So basically we kind of fill out the entire magnif magnifying glass. And so now we're already kind of pretty much there already. I mean, if, some, if, that's, if that's all you need, that's all you really, um, you could be done here. So it's as simple as that as just copying the, the keyframes from the position of this circle onto the center of the, magn of the magnify tool. Um, now you could add some other effects. You could add a bulge just to kind of maybe give it a little bit more of like a magnifying glass effect. Um, I believe it's bulge, yeah, it's bulge. So we're just gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna create a center keyframe. We're gonna press U on the keyboard so that way we can see all of our keyframes. You'll see there that there's a bulge keyframe and we're just gonna again copy the position and paste it onto the bulge and I'm gonna delete this um, random keyframe that it created when I selected uh, to track it. So. So now we kind of have an effect like that and we want to increase the bulge size the same as we did um, for the other effect. So, but this one you have to do bulge height radius and bulge width radius. 
So I'm just gonna increase it to the size of the, of the uh, magnifying glass. And I could kind of decrease or increase the amount of bulging you want. Um, it kind of just depends on, on what, what you need or what looks best to you. Um, and that gives you a really easy effect. Now, if you wanna come in here and clean this up and make it kind of more centered. So um, let's see. Let's say we just started this um, position of the magnifying glass. Let's say we started it just over here and we want it to go all the way across, maybe six seconds to the other side. Again, all you have to do is just copy the keyframes over and it, it works out. So we'll just copy these. I need to actually push the, the timer to the very front, to the very beginning, because that's when the first keyframe for this one is. I'm just gonna copy and paste these on. And now we should have a really easy, simple effect in After Effects using an adjustment layer and magnification tools. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a like. If you wanna see more, please subscribe and let me know um, if this tool is helpful for you at all. Anyways, guys, this has been Mike for Mobox. Thanks for watching.